reading Christ Object Lessons this Friday evening. Uh, well, there were some things here. So I went to the E.G. White website and downloaded or copied this portion. It's from page 370, the first paragraph. All his gifts are to be used in blessing humanity. It's talking about all the blessings from the Lord. All his gifts are to be used in blessing humanity. In relieving the suffering and the needy. Relieving the suffering and the needy. We are to feed the hungry, to clothe the naked, to care for the widow and the fatherless, to minister to the distressed and downtrodden. And then an interesting statement. God never meant that the widespread misery in the world should exist. He never meant that one man should have an abundance of the luxuries of life while the children of others should cry for bread. The means over and above the actual necessities of life, the means over and above the actual necessities of life, are entrusted to man to do good to bless humanity. The Lord says, sell that ye have and give alms. Luke 12, 33. Be ready to distribute, willing to communicate. 1 Timothy 6, 18. When thou makest a feast, call the poor, the maimed, the lame, the blind. Luke 14, 13. Loose the bands of wickedness. Undo the heavy burdens. Let the oppressed go free. Break every yoke. Deal thy bread to the hungry. Bring the poor that are cast out to your house. And when you seest the naked, cover him. Satisfy the afflicted soul. Isaiah 58, 6, 7, and 10. Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Mark 16, 15. These are the Lord's commands. Are the great body of professed Christians doing this work? Colossians 3, 70, paragraph 1. A little farther down, men are guilty of robbing or robbery toward God. Their selfish use of means robs the Lord of the glory that should be reflected back to him in the relief of suffering humanity and the salvation of souls. The Lord receives glory when we relieve the suffering of humanity and the salvation of souls. They are embezzling his entrusted goods. The Lord declares, I will come near to you to judgment and I will be a swift witness against those that oppress the hireling in his wages. The widow. I will bring a swift witness against those that oppress the widow and the father and turn aside the stranger from his right. So the widow, the fatherless, and the stranger 
have rights. They have a right to expect that we will be a blessing. Those that oppress the hireling in his wages, it's the same as oppressing the widow and the fatherless. Well, there's more that could be read, but I wanted to share that much. I wanted you to see this information. I hope it's a blessing to you.